All right, let's talk about triangle proportionality. You may recall from an earlier lesson that if you have a triangle and you take a line, let's draw our triangle here real quick. If you take a line that connects the midpoints of two sides of the triangle, like so, that that line will be parallel to the third side. So um, if we call this A, oops, if we call this A and this B, and we call this C and D, then AB will be parallel to CD, and each of these segments will be congruent to each other because obviously we divided them into two to get the midpoints of both sides anyway, right? Well, there's a similar theorem that we can use that involves proportionality, only it doesn't require that we use the midpoints. We can use any point along the sides of the triangle. As long as this line that we draw is parallel to the third side, then we know that the lengths of the lines above it, so from comparing from here to here, and let's do different colors, and from here to here, will be the same as comparing here to here and here to here. Yeah? And we can do that, let's put some numbers in there just for reference. Let's say this is 4 and this is 2, then this would be, say, 6 and 3. So assuming these two lines here are parallel, D, E, and A, C, D, E, parallel, to AC, then these two other sides are going to be in the same proportion. So the shorter side, BD, 4, will compare to the whole length, BA, which is 6, in the same ratio as the shorter side over here, 6, compares to its whole length, which is 6 plus 3, or 9. And 4 out of 6, of course, reduces to 2 out of 3 and 6 out of 9 reduces to 2 out of 3, so we can see that those are indeed proportional. And anywhere along here that we want to draw a straight line, as long as it's parallel to that bottom line, the distances between it and B will be in proportion, 2 on one side, 3 on the other, whatever they happen to be. In fact, if this distance right here happens to be 2, then this distance right here, back up to B, will be three because that proportion has got to be the same and hold clear down the whole way. Kind of neat, huh? So let's use that for our example questions. Scroll on down to the bottom of the page.